So I'm sitting here with Ken from Crystal Method. Huge fan, Ken. Thank Thanks. you for joining us here today. Thanks got for a having me. couple questions for you. First one, tell us a little bit about the Regeneration Music Project. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, we, uh, we're, we worked on this track at, at our studio in LA for Martha Reeves. And uh, then we got to go to Detroit kind of check out Detroit a little bit with, with her as our host, you know, yeah. and showed us all these amazing sights. And then uh, the next day we recorded her vocals and uh, some other musicians as well. Nice. And then uh, we took all that back to our studio and then finished the track, you know. So it was a lot of fun. She was great. A little bit of drama working with her, but, <laughs> but overall she was just fantastic. And, uh, and then we got to put together this, like, super group to play Jimmy Kimmel live. Nice, yeah. Yeah, we had um, we had Martha and we had like Daryl Jones, who's a bass player for the Rolling Stones. Oh, yeah. We had Richard Fortas, who plays guitar with Guns N' Roses. We had Brain, the drummer from Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> oh, just, just Ultimate really super great. group, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we got to rehearse with them and all, for, all to perform that one song on Jimmy Kimmel, but it was great. Nice. So who has been your favorite person to collaborate with? If not your favorite, then one of your favorites. Uh, definitely one of our favorites has been uh, Tom Morello nice. from Rage. Um, nice. And, uh, yeah, we had got some idea from somebody that he might want to work with us, and so we just we chased him down, you know, relentlessly. <laughs> and, uh, and he was just great. He played on a few tracks and, like, co-produced and wrote some tracks with us. Nice. And, uh and since then, we've um, we've remixed a track for him. Uh, uh, he's got this other project called uh, Street Sweeper Social Scene, mm. and we uh, remixed a track. You can, you can find that track on our on our SoundCloud page. I think it's called uh, Ghetto Blaster. But, nice. Uh, we've got a uh, an EP called Sling the Decks that we're gonna get out in the summer. Excited about that. And then you know we're always working on the next new album. Nice. So do you prefer playing big old venues like this, or do you like playing the more intimate clubs? Well, there's uh, there's pros and cons with each, you know? Yeah. Uh, the big ones are always great when there's a lot of people, there's a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. and, and usually the big festival dates, you also get to see other acts and meet other acts you hadn't met before. But the bigger the event is, the farther you end up away from the audience, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so true. So the the smaller club shows are really nice because you're right there with them, you know, and that's yeah. a whole different kind of energy that's really cool. So, uh, yeah, but they're both great. All right, last question for you. Do you have any good San Diego stories? Wow. <laughs> I know. A little out of left field. <laughs> but we're here in beautiful San Diego, so I have to ask. Yeah, let me think. Uh, Take your time, man. <laughs> Right. Yeah, exactly. That That's the catch. You have to remember them, yeah. actually. <laughs> there were a lot of uh, nights that just went all night after after parties, you yeah. know? San Diego oh, is famous for the after yeah. parties, for sure. No, I would say my best San Diego story is that... My wife is from San Diego, nice. so that's my best San Diego. Story. All right, that works then, man. But uh, I wanted to—I wanted to say I'm working on a. Uh, 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 we're working with this uh, new group called the Electronic Music Alliance. It's this nonprofit organization, uh, and one of the programs they have is called um, Play It Forward, where DJs uh, donate their times, to, to their their sets to like worthy causes and events, nice. you know. And, Love that kind and of we've, stuff. We've done things for like the Sea Shepherds before. Hmm. And we're doing this really cool uh, private party on August 18th for um, for uh, an organization from San Diego called It's All About the Kids. So and nice. that's going to be the official, first official uh, uh, launch of the Play It Forward program. And where's that going to be at on August 18th? That will be at a a mansion. <laughs> I like that. that. I can't name. Mansion's good. A famous mansion in Beverly Hills that I can't name. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Perfect, man. Thanks for talking to me, Ken.